There you go, folks. Jackson forward fold done and dusted. Very simple, very easy process to set it up. Now it's time to pull it down. Let's do it. First things first, roll all your window flaps shut. Make sure you zip them all right the way down as well. But it makes it a lot easier for it to, um, to fold them up. Because when you're trying to roll walls up, if these are all flapping around everywhere and they're bunching up, they don't, they don't fold up anywhere near as neat as they should do. All right, with the shower tent, always pull these down first. Because this sits on the annex wall and it stays attached to the annex walls, it's always better to pull that down first. Just take your pole work out. Don't forget your little Velcro tabs. All right, now I'm going to take the walls out and fold them away. Now we're going to take the PVC for bucket floor out. So Velcro it off. Once you've got it out, make sure it's from underneath your poles because you don't want your annex falling down just yet. I find it easy just to grab a corner each, pick it up and walk out one end. So these are easy, really easy to fold up. So one person either end, fold them in half again. Flick it over. Again with these, I go sort of half and half with them. That's it. And then from here again, the tighter you roll them, the smaller they're going to be when you try and pack them away. So with your annex, take your cedar foot spreaders down first at either end. So take them down. Make sure you tighten your nuts up as well because there's nothing worse when you leave them loose. You put them in your pole bag, you go to grab the back end and it flies off and you're left with half a pole. So make sure you always tighten those ones up. Um, next to your spreaders, because they're up a little bit high, just grab your corner poles, just drop them down a little bit, makes them easier to get to. Unlock your spreader. Take it out. Again, remembering to lock that nut up. Now with the rest of your pole work, there's really no rhyme or reason of doing it properly. No, Generally we do the outside corners here first, very straightforward. Grab your two poles in one hand and support them. Kick that one off to the side. Make sure your Velcros are undone and just let your ridge poles hang down like that. Come to your centre pole, drop it down. Take your flat spreaders out, just leave them to the side for now. Take that one out, leave it to the side, drop them down. What I like to do from here, you can do one of two things. You can leave the annex roof on, throw it over the top, but personally I like to take it off. So they're very straightforward. You pretty much grab it from one end, nice and easy. With your ridge poles, they're generally fairly straightforward. Easy with these, just slide them down so they're easy to get to. Watch the water. Just um, a little pointer when you're doing these. When you're closing all your window flaps up, yes, do that zipper up, but this zipper here, don't zip it right the way closed. Leave about, I reckon, about six inches loose. What happens is when you fold the camper trailer back to close it up, it helps the air escape. Makes it a lot easier for it to close down quicker. Last thing in your annex area is your draft skirt. These are real easy, they just Velcro on. Remembering when we set up your poles in the corner here, drop them down, take them out of the way. And again, as we mentioned earlier on in the setup video, every single one of these is adjustable. So grab the two, undo them, and you'll find quite often that'll, a bit of a wriggle, and that'll come back by itself. With your table, nice and easy. All you do is you push on the little arms, push that forward, let them lie down. Same on that side. When you're finished with it, it drops back in there. So sit, seats back in there. Don't forget your infill as well. 
infill sits in there, pop them back in the bed position, you'll find it will pack up so much easier when the bed's all packed away as such. Nice and easy. This is our annex roof. So again, I generally like to go in half. Half again. Half that way. With all your canvas, just tuck it in over the side before you start packing away. So make sure everything's tucked over and in nice and neatly. So just connect your winch up, make sure you're keeping everything nice and straight so when it goes back onto the winch it's obviously going to go on nice and straight. So um, Bill's just on the other side, he's going to start winching and that'll actually bring everything over and we're just going to tuck the canvas in as we go. At this point here, just move your hook over to the end one. Just make it nice and easy. Get them down to about there. Tuck your last bits of canvas in. Walk around and check your, check your camper. Just a tip with these as well, when you're locking them down, it's handy to have one person either side and do them evenly one either side because you can actually twist the top. So down they go. Again, last little check around, make sure there's no canvas poking out anywhere. Last but not least, your boat rack. Now, don't forget to take your securing pins out before you push it over. So take a bit of weight off, take your securing pins out. All out, leash. Yep, out. Push it over, nice and easy. Just like that. So don't forget to put your securing pin back in. Drop your pin in, you're just about there. Very last thing to do, don't forget your stabiliser legs. So wind a bar on there. About there. Grab your blue handle, swing them up out of the way. Make sure they lock in. You don't want that coming down halfway home. Don't forget, last but not least, your little gold clip. They just slide through, your little locks there. There's plenty of them. Make sure you get them all. There you go, folks. One Jackson forward fold, up and down, nice and easy. As you can see, it's a very simple process. You can have some great fun with it. <laughs>